So today we went to the island of Modu Madrid, also known locally now as Mamagachi. This is the place of Vrindavan Das Thakur, his residence where he grew up and where he did so much of his seva. There were two places. We went to the place of Sri Sarangadev and also the house of Vrindavan Das Thakur. At the house of Vrindavan Das Thakur, we discussed the very special Leela of Sri Ramachandra, Sita and Lakshman when they came to this place during the exile of Lord Ramachandra so, so long ago. Actually, uh, that area of Modrumadri, Ayodhya is situated there. It's also known as Sri Bandiravan, Bandiravat. Uh, and just as in Bandiravat in Vrindavan, where there's a very large banyan tree, during ancient times, Sri Ramachandra stayed there under a very, very large, beautiful banyan tree. There he had a hut constructed by his brother Lakshman. And one day, in a very uh, secret mood, he was smiling to himself. And that's where Sita Devi asked him, Why are you smiling, my lord? And then he explained to her about his Leela as Mahaprabhu in the coming Kali Yuga, and how at that time he would be separated from Sita, who would then be known as Vishnu Priya, and Vishnu Priya would be at home worshipping a golden form of him while he was off uh, experiencing the pastimes of sannyas. And he said, just as we are going to do that in Kali Yuga, also at the end of our Leela here, I will also be sending you to the forest and I will be staying back and worshipping your golden form. So the Leela of the Lord, particularly Lord Ramachandra, and during Krishna's pastimes, Mahaprabhu's pastimes, to show the extreme aspect of Prem and all its facets, the uh, meeting and separation is there. And everybody thinks that meeting is the highest expression of love. Everybody wants to be in meeting, but actually separation enhances the joy and the quality of meeting. And furthermore, it's understood uh, by the very deep scholars of Ras that in separation, also known as Varaha, there's a very special kind of internal meeting, the joy of which, uh, experienced on the highest levels, will surpass even the joy of direct meeting. So these were some of the topics we were discussing. Of course, more in depth, this is just a little two-minute summary. Enjoy. Krishna, today is the last day of Parikrama, and we went, we passed through Janu Dweep, and in Janu Dweep was the ashram of Janu Muni, and he was a great sage performing austerities there for thousands. He was doing his tapasya there, meditating for thousands of years, undisturbed, under a great um, tree there, and all of a sudden, all this noise came and disturbed him. He came out of his meditation, and what was it? The Ganges was coming. It, had been called, summoned by Bhagirat Maharaj, whose sons had committed an offense, and um, they had been burned to ashes by another Muni, by Kapila Muni, I think it was. So, Bhagirat Maharaj had to deliver his ancestors. There were all of these boys, and so he had gotten the Ganges to come to purify the earth and to um, revive the souls of his sons. And what happened was the Ganges was coming through and with such a rushing noise that Janamuni came out of his, his trance and he was so angry that he just sucked up the whole Ganges like that. And all of a sudden, Bhagirat Maharaj, he's, he's going along on his horse and then he, hears, he doesn't hear any noise and he turns around and sees the Ganges isn't there anymore and he goes, oh my God, what's happened? And there was a sage sitting there so then he understood the sage had drunk up the whole Ganges, can you imagine? what an advanced uh, yogi he was. So then Bhagirat Maharaj prayed to him, please, you know, you must release the Ganges, because otherwise I won't be able to deliver my ancestors. So um, uh, Janu Muni was pleased with his prayers, and he cut open his thigh, and yeah, a little gory, yeah? and the, Janavi, the Ganges came flowing out, and, and that, that's why 
the Ganges is also called Jan, uh, Janavi, after Janamuni, and then um, and then she goes in circles here. She thought that Navadweep was so beautiful. The Ganges loved Navadweep, so she just goes in circles and circles and they makes the nine islands here because she doesn't want to leave beautiful Navadweep. She wants to come and stay and worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with everyone else. So we want to call the two restaurants. Later on, when you'll see me asleep on the bed, suffering from bronchitis. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Oh, <laughs> 